Good morning from day 68. Uh, apologies for the huffing and puffing, but I'm going uphill. And actually, that's going to be the story for the day. Uh, so it's about 3,000 feet of climbing um, from what I've seen. About 5,000 in total uh, with a couple of thousand to drop. But yeah, about 3,000 net gain. And it's like a thousand foot climb straight out of camp and then a little flat bit and then another thousand foot climb and then another thousand foot climb. So it's going to be a potentially a tough one. The temperature is supposed to get up to about 25. So not as hot as yesterday when I was really struggling. Um, but it is supposed to get pretty warm. So uh, it's 8.30. Um, trying to get some miles in before the heat settles in. Uh, but also uh, there is talk of thunderstorms this afternoon. And maybe appropriately, the shelter I'd kind of tent got tentatively circled is the shelter at Thunder Hill. Um, so I'm hoping that doesn't turn out to be <laughs> foreshadowing, but uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm a little full. So we met the wonderful Fresh Grounds again last night. Uh, he sets up at Jennings Creek. That's uh, one of his regular spots. Because um, it's a great place to, to stop off. Uh, and so we had a lovely, lovely dinner. Um, he did like fried chicken and fries and, and, and stuff. Uh, had some watermelon which was delightful after such a hot day. Uh, and it was right by the swimming hole, so awesome. I didn't go swimming, uh, but did dunk my uh, my head in while I was stood in like knee deep water. So that helped cool me off. Um, and then he was at the same spot this morning because he posts up and um, does like dinner and breakfast some, oftentimes. Um, so yeah, had breakfast burritos and his famous blueberry pancakes. And I packed out a bunch of it as well to carry up this hill. Uh, so once again, Fresh Grounds, big love. Yeah, he's a fully funded by ex-hikers and people who want to do trail magic but can't come out here. So check out his uh, his page on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. Uh, and if you want to donate, then go ahead. He won't accept donations on trail. Uh, but I will certainly be donating once I'm off trail because, yeah, he's been amazing for for me and for the tramley and, and so forth. I uh, can't say enough good things about fresh grounds. But for now, uh, I'm gonna stop recording and get hiking because whew, this hill, whew, it'll get the heart started. But anyway, happy hiking. One thing I forgot to mention, um, so we're sitting there at, at uh, breakfast with fresh grounds. Um, and into camp, uh, into you know the the camp, walks Boomer, um, and so Boomer's been off trail for a little while because uh, he he had um, maybe what a little bit what I had, maybe a little bit worse. I I don't know, but he was he was ill and off trail, um, and was you know I was worried worried we wouldn't see you again, Boomer, but in walks Boomer, happy smile on his face like a, like always. And it's just so great to see him. Um, the, uh, like, we've all missed him. 
and yeah it's just it's great great to see him uh, back on trail really really glad for, to see that and uh, i think bandit and bluegrass um uh, aren't too far behind and uh, couch is in the area too he flew past us yesterday um uh, and then went off to i think to the the campsite for a shower and, and and stuff last night so he's close by too and that that's a that was a little sort of semi tramley um that were hiking around us uh, our tramley um and we were not really one big tramley but we were we were certainly very close like uh you know the there was about you know eight or nine of us who who were all you know hiking in and around the same towns and uh, stopping at the same shelters and you know got quite friendly so yeah, um, Bandit had to get off um, because he broke a bone in his in his ankle or foot. I can't remember which. Um, uh, and he then proceeded to carry on hiking on it, worrying, complaining that it hurt a bit because, you know, broken. Uh, and then he finally went and got checked out and it was yet confirmed to be a break. So he took a li little time off um, and then got back on trail because Bandit is, uh, is su super tough. Um, yeah, Chuck Howell Outdoors uh, is, is, his, is his YouTube. He has a lot of followers. Um, so ch go check him out because he is great. Uh, but yeah, I, I, him and Bluegrass are uh, back on trail and uh, I think catching up with us at the moment. So hopefully we'll get to see Bandit, Bluegrass, Boomer and C Couch all, all back together at some point. Um, so that'd be cool. But yeah, just thought, I just wanted to mention it because... Again, it's been a been a hot minute since we've seen Boomer, and just to see him stroll into into camp coming southbound was just ah, warms the heart, as they say. But, uh, we'll see you soon. Whew, okay, that's the uh, second climb of the day done. Uh, work on my way back down now. Uh, there's a shelter in about half a mile uh, where. I think there's water. I hope there's water. Um, but I'll stop there for some lunch. Um, it is warm. I am sweating profusely. Uh, but it's not as warm as uh, yesterday. And there's a bit of cloud cover generally. So the sun isn't beating down on me quite so much. But it's still, say, very warm. I'm desperately hoping for some, <laughs> some wind. A bit of a breeze to come through and... A, cool me down, B, kind of dry through my shirt a little bit, because, whoo, sweaty. But, yeah, the climb was straight up and over. Um, there were some, a few switchbacks thrown in there in the middle bit, um, but then a sharp turn up and straight up the, the mountain back there, which was fun. But, yeah. It's pretty, pretty beautiful today. Uh, I haven't seen much in the way of views yet. I think maybe the second part of the day, I'll see some more views um, once it opens up. A um, bit of ridgeline walking and, and possibly back a little bit more of the uh, the Blue Ridge Parkway uh, road that we saw with some views from motorists and whatever. But yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a warm one. So. I've got maybe half a litre of water left. There is a, um, a, a stream or something in about a mile, so another half a mile after the uh, after the shelter. So it should be fine. But if there is water at the, the shelter, I'll fill up there, drink a lot, maybe have a little uh, little sh uh, quick hiker shower, dunk my head and wash the pits, maybe even rinse out the shirt, depending on on how clean and, and fast flowing the water looks like it is. If it's stagnant, I probably won't, yeah, won't do too much, but we'll see. Anyway, I might show you the shelter if there's, if it's empty, but if there's a lot of people there. Um, yeah, I don't like to get in their faces, so. Right, bye. Okay, lunch done, and a little, uh, little uh, sh hiker shower with uh, my uh, filter 
water um, from the stream. Um, and I've got maybe five, five and a half miles to go to Thunder Hill, which is probably where I'm gonna uh, camp up for the night. Uh, might be rain later, but who knows? So there's another decent-ish climb, so maybe 700, 800 feet, um, and a couple of mini climbs in between that. Um, so that's gonna be fun. I'm full of water and calories, and the temperature seems to have dropped, and it's definitely more overcast now, so it's uh, almost pleasant. So yeah, it's, uh, looking forward to it. And then uh, that'll leave me about 14 miles into um, the gap to take me into Glasgow uh, tomorrow. Uh, so potentially a few of us staying in Glasgow, uh, some of the others might, some of the crew might, might jump in, get a resupply and then jump out again, but decisions are still to be made. I'm almost certainly gonna stay in Glasgow. Um, sounds like a lovely little town. I like the idea of getting some pizza and doing some laundry and having a, a nice cool shower and then heading out fresh tomorrow, uh, the, the following day. But yeah, we shall see. But yeah, just these uh, next five miles. Fun. And at the top of that long, long climb up Apple Orchard and some sort of radio device. We are high again. Not a bad view. Ooh. Not sure it's worth the climb, but I say that all the time, so. Whew. Yeah. Okay, time to drink some water and, and push on. This is the famous guillotine, or big rock stuck in between two other big rocks. Uh, yeah, pretty sure it's not gonna fall on me, but you know, the French do hate us Brits. And there's Sassafras about to come down. Ah, will the guillotine kill her? Stay tuned, watch Jess Hikes Trails to find out. <laughs> there are trilliums, um, these three petaled flowers everywhere. Um, I think they're all different, slightly different, like uh, genses or whatever. Um, but it's so, so beautiful to see so many of them, so huge as well, all over trail. Little shelter visitor today. Yeah. I think he's coming to say hello. Yeah. 